Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. The video that I made looking at a few scenes in the Vikings TV show in which, I will say in scare quotes, Old Norse is used, uh, got a little bit of attention. And uh, however, some viewers, including Luke Ranieri, who suggested the topic in the first place, thought that it would be better if I included the video of the scenes. Well, I am doing that this time, although I'm just looking at one long scene. Uh, we're going to see just how the Old Norse in Vikings really stacks up. few disclaimers based on things that people said in the previous video's reception. One is that, like, oh well, you know, such and such an actor is Swedish, uh, maybe the writers are trying to accommodate how there might be dialectical differences between Swedish and Danish and whatever at this time period, and that's absolutely not true. There are ways that you could do that, you know, in a scholarly sound basis, but modern Swedish features are not necessarily great guides to what old Swedish features would be like. If you want to hear real reconstructed Old Swedish, Grimfrost, which will have a little friendly message somewhere in this video, uh, made a, a little movie that uh, I did some reconstructed Old Swedish for. So if you go to look for this video on their their site and, and or on their YouTube channel, and then there's another one on my YouTube channel about what went into the Old Swedish, you'll hear something about some actual dialectal differences between Old West Norse and Old East Norse. That's absolutely not, categorically not, the level of effort put into this damn show, <laughs> right? I've consulted on movies and TV shows and video games, and I can tell you for a fact, they never want to spend more than like $200 on this stuff. So they're absolutely not paying somebody to like figure out what dialects of Old Norse people should be speaking. That's ridiculous. It also shows in the level of effort that was put into this. Um, in a similar way, like it's not as if Someone was saying, like, well, maybe this is more archaic Old Norse than you're used to. I'm exactly the guy that is used to archaic Old Norse, right? I mean, you know, people bitch and moan about me talking about mythology because I'm an, a language guy, as if the language guys aren't the ones who read the mythology the most thoroughly. But, like, okay, even if that's your position, as it is the position of a certain really annoying pagan guru dude, uh, the language stuff is exactly what I like, obviously know what I'm talking about. And they're not talking in like more archaic Old Norse. If you want to hear something about that, I have a couple videos that will actually give you some demonstrations of older Old Norse, including even Proto Norse. In fact, I have a video where I took a famous stanza of the poem Havamal, modern Icelandic pronunciation, Havamal, yes, jackals, um, and, and show you what it would look like in Proto Norse. All right. Let's look at this scene. There's a bunch of people sitting around a table speaking fakey Old Norse. It's the next scene that I came to in this video uploaded by somebody named Swordfight Knight, and man, it is the fakiest yet. So one guy says, Concerto, brother. What are you saying, brother? I think I understand this. He says, What sayer thu, brother? Although it almost sounds like he's mistaking the th there for a ta and saying, like, tu. The Sayir pronunciation there is very modern Icelandic. I do suspect that basically the actors who have guidance are mostly getting modern Icelandic guidance. That would be sort of fine if they were doing it better. Um, another one says, I have agreed to fight. I think I hear yek hev. Which would be like, I have, I'd really expect heavy. And then there's this, this yek thing, which is not really Old Norse yek, it's not really old modern Icelandic yay. I don't know, it doesn't make me happy. It probably doesn't make anybody happy except for the people who worship whatever Hollywood puts out and say, that's my culture. <laughs> it's not, never was anyone's. Um, actually, maybe it's yours. <laughs> and then it sounds like for fight, he's using berja. Berja is mostly used as a medio passive verb. Berjask. Berja, eh. I don't know. Without the ska at the end, it just sounds like I want to hit. It's like, what do you want to hit? 
I don't know, it's crappy old Norse. Somebody else, or maybe the first one said, If Brutring means skull far. As if my brother goes, this sounds like, if brotherin men scalfara. I think he's saying that F and Ev, meaning if as an F, really should be more like Ev. And then it sounds like uh, maybe this is a Swedish or Norwegian speaker because it sounds like the vowel and brother is like a U more there, like like Norwegian bror. Um, it sounds like he's saying kind of like brotherin, should be brotherin. It is an O in Old Norse or in Icelandic. Yeah, uh, then so do I. It sounds like fara ek. I can't hear what might be the then so part. Um, if he's just saying I go, I would expect ek fer, uh, not fara. Maybe there's a modal verb in there somewhere that I'm not hearing. It, it's a little hard to hear some parts of the scene because people are eating and making noise and grunting and whatever. Someone says, and this guy is just about impossible to understand. They are voren er komen uploaded in fermis. When the spring comes and my blood heats up, he goes into some kind of, you know, fakey, Viking, bloodthirsty monologue thing here. I can't exactly hear any of this. It sounds like maybe the word he's using for when is thegar, which is modern Icelandic when, but it means immediately in Old Norse, so that's not, not right. Comes, it sounds like he's saying komer, again, more like Norwegian or Swedish than, than Old Norse or even Icelandic. I think I hear og blothin, which would give you modern Icelandic and, and then blow then would be plural bloods, which doesn't make sense. You talk about your singular blood, blow it. Uh, and then I think he says like vermist, which definitely sounds like he's targeting modern Icelandic, not Old Norse with that ST rather than SK ending. I want nothing more than to raid and fight. It sounds like he's saying like thauvilleg, again, obviously targeting modern Icelandic pronunciation because that owl vowel the long A. And then it sounds like the very end of this, I can't understand the nothing more than to Ray, but for and fight, it sounds like he's saying oh, berjast. At least he's got the medio passive ending on the fight verb. It doesn't just sound like he wants to hit something blank. Uh, a woman says En skaljek beri. Says, I will fight too. This sounds like en skaljek beria. Again, I don't like beria without the medio passive ending. It just doesn't read right. And then like also or something as n. N is contrastive. N would be like, but I must fight. Um, skull really is more like must than a, a future. Uh, skull is a future in Norwegian, right? Uh, you know, yes, I'm going to go. Um, but it's, it's obligatory in Old North. It's I must, right? So, you know, this doesn't even seem like it's being done by a, a competent modern Icelandic uh, linguist or speaker. Uh, here's a spot where I'm going to put in my little word from my friends and uh, partners at Grim Frost. All right, there's some guy who's eating, so that makes it even more impossible to understand what he's saying, and his little monologue. I mean, the Blautens, or Sessions, it's called I'm not Sessions. It is between the plow and the ax. I will always choose the ax, you know me. And I can understand nothing of what he says, except the word ax. He says skessy, which is uh, more of a poetic, uh, very specific term for ax. Someone says, Mercia is not our quarrel. Can't understand a damn word he's saying. Someone else, I think the first guy says, it is part of something much bigger. Cannot understand anything that he's saying. Uh, somebody says, not for us. I think this sounds like Egi für Ocker. Ocker is us in modern Icelandic, but in Old Norse, it means specifically for us two. So you would only be talking about two people here, which is clearly not what he's doing. So again, modern Icelandic, potentially even Google Translate, modern Icelandic is what they are using. Um, maybe for him, he says, I can't tell really anything here that he's saying, although it sounds like the word for him that he wants to say is like hoon. That doesn't, it's not a word for him. I mean, that means she. It's kind of like if you're throwing dartboards at the pronoun wall, it's getting semi-close to like han, he, or honum to him, but... It's, it's not hidden it. 
Let's go to Coma Eva E. Someone says, will you come or not? Uh, I hear Coma Eva is come or. That's all I can hear otherwise. Someone else says, yes, I will come. Y'all. Excalcoma, and I'm impressed that it sounds more Old Norse in pronunciation, less, less Icelandic y. Although the skull is still a terrible intrusion of modern language onto the old language. Or again, skull means must, just like Ochre means us too. Another guy says, The fly always follows the dead man. I can't understand what the hell he's saying. Yep, skull help with that. Um, then a different woman. This is one of the worst speakers here. Although, for all I know, she's a Scandinavian who's just importing too much of her modern Scandinavian into it. Um, all right, she says, I will help you. Again, we get the skull wrongly used as a future marker. It sounds like yeg skull. Help us there. Help would be helpa. The y is pronounced there, represented by that J. My parents were farmers. She says, for eldry, and it sounds like mina. Um, mean would be the appropriate grammatical form of my there. Ragnar Barubindar. Then she says, Ragnar and I were farmers. The only thing I can understand there is the word Ragnar. Yegskal help a folkemet. I will help my people. Yegskal help a folkemet. This, this sounds almost like maybe I'm dealing with a Norwegian speaker here. Uh, the helpa instead of helpa. Uh, of course, in most Norwegian dialects, it's yelpa. Right, it's actually the H is not pronounced rather than the J, but I could see somebody overcorrecting. And then the Folkemet, my people, sounds real Norwegian to me. Um, potentially even West Norwegian, but uh, I don't know. I don't know who any of these people are. The sow and plow and harvest, I can't understand any of that. And make a place to live. It sounds like all I can make out of that is Bigge. Again, Bigge sounds pretty Norwegian. Um, Old Norse bigya or or bigva or, or potentially even meteor passive bigyask bigvask. I just I think part of what's going on here is a lot of people think a think well who cares about how I pronounce this and b think well you know I know a little Norwegian or I'm a Norwegian speaker period um, that's appropriate to Old Norse and it just isn't language is always changing and it's changed a lot in a thousand years and. Um, Sure, you know, it'd be nice if more of these shows got the stuff right. Uh, sometimes they do try to get it pretty right. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla did a decent job of this. Grim Frost did a decent job of this. Um, at least Disney's Frozen has appropriate Viking Age runes for its old Norse writing, but that's just because I did it by hand. Anyway, it's all frustrating, but it's hard to be too frustrated up here at 11,000 feet in beautiful Colorado. And hey, if you enjoy these videos, please, Consider supporting my Patreon so I can continue making free videos with great free information about Norse language, myth, and runes. And uh, check out my books if you haven't before. I've translated the major sources of Norse myth and some of the great sagas. And uh, hey, I'm on Cameo if you want to give somebody a personalized all the best. But for now, everyone out there is still dealing with the sound of my voice. I'm wishing you all the best from beautiful Colorado.